going on y'all in today's video i'm going to be giving you the top five best class setups to be using in modern warfare 3 right now to not only increase your kd your overall combat record but to also help you guys get a lot more mgb nukes and high kill gameplays quickly if you guys are brand new and you love modern warfare 3 you're in the right spot because we upload daily modern warfare 3 videos make sure you guys subscribe and ring that bell icon you'll be notified the next time we upload and click the thumbs up button helps out in the algorithm helps grow the channel with all that being said let's get into the first class setup we're starting off with what i think is the number one weapon in the entire game the wsp swarm has a high fire rate it is incredibly dominant up close and at a range so my first attachment here is the 100 round drum it has the highest fire rate out of any weapon in this game you're going to be burning through ammo so throw that 100 round drum on and you very rarely have to reload the 50 is what I used to use, but I ain't gonna lie, the 100 just changes everything for me personally. My second attachment here is a WSP Optic Long Barrel. Like I said, it has a high fire rate, so the recoil is gonna be all over the place. To make it more manageable, throw this on, you get better recoil control and gun kick control. My next attachment here is an Optic because the iron sights aren't that good, and I prefer the NIDAR model. It is the only weapon I actually use this on. I have tried it out on other weapons, but I just feel like it works incredibly well, specifically on the WSP Swarm. I then throw on the FSS Fortress Heavy Stock, increasing my gun kick and recoil control once again, because like that fire rate is ridiculous. That barrel, it, it can't do it all. So we got to help it out a little bit by throwing a stock on like this. And then my final attachment is the Marauder Grip, where you get more gun kick control and recoil control and there's the build and you're gonna see like dude it it, it shouldn't be this dominant that's a that, that's an smg what why am i even able to do that with the, a fire rate that high these two are easy to take out but this down here it shouldn't be possible but it is our second class setup we have the core 45 which looks like an ordinary pistol but by the end of us building this it's gonna be a full-blown smg and i have to include it in this because it's by far the best secondary weapon in the entire game so first attachment the conversion kit this is what turns it into an smg the xrk ipv2 conversion kit there's gonna be brand new attachments that open up to you when you throw this on so you could really build it into an smg you get an increase in fire rate so it's like a full auto smg uh, you can increase in bullet velocity and range so you could actually use this at medium to long range gunfight and find success so we're gonna go ahead and put that on since the fire rates increase we're gonna be flying through ammo throw the 40 round drum on so you're not reloading after every single kill that can get really obnoxious and annoying the recoil on it is really absurd so if you throw on this chimera kimura rhino 3 vertical grip increases your accuracy increases your recoil control makes it a total laser beam it is unreal i don't like the iron sights on it you guys can kind of see them right there they're not the best so i like to throw an optic on and uh, that being the slate reflector so i could just see so much better and then my final attachment here is the xrk dynamic precision stock like i said going back to that recoil control it, it, it's a little shaky so we have the under barrel and then we also have the stock on as well and it literally shoots as straight as a laser it is un real we can quickly take this thing to the firing range and keep in mind it was an it was a full-blown pistol to begin with and now we literally have a little L uh, smg here and it's like automatic with all this range on it yeah this is why it's in the top five our third class setup we have the mcw which is my personal favorite assault rifle in the game it's just accurate super easy to use very powerful so my first attachment here is a 60 round drum so once again we could just take out multiple enemies without having to reload it's just very very practical i then threw on the ammunition nano high grain rounds and with this i get an increase in bullet velocity and damage range and this just allows us to kill a little bit more quickly and have a more powerful mcw at those longer range engagements we have the most underrated muzzle in the entire game and it's so underrated because it's all the way at the end here not many people know about it and that is the x10 ported 290. you get a massive increase in vertical recoil control gun kick control horizontal recoil control I gotta favor this thing it is in my opinion the best muzzle in the game it's not available on every weapon but the ones that it's available on you damn sure know i'm gonna be using that it is that good my barrel i have on is the mcw cyclone long barrel and you just get a huge boost in your bullet velocity and range so you can kill enemies 
very quickly at those long range gunfights and then my final attachment is an optic that being the slate reflector iron sights aren't terrible i just like having an optic on because i can just see so much better and more clearly so that's why we have that on take this to the firing range very straightforward build we just used this the other day in our metal loadout video rightfully so though i mean the thing again probably the easiest weapon in this entire game to use if you don't have an mgb or a you don't haven't broken your kill record in a while throw this on and i bet you will our fourth weapon here we have the bass b which i i am an idiot if i don't include this in a top five because it is just so good it has to be included and talked about even if the setup's the same or not so my first attachment here is a 45 round magazine which honestly is more than enough you can get away with a 30 because it just drops enemies so quickly I then threw on the nano high grain rounds once again, and this gives us more bullet velocity and damage range, so we can kill enemies a lot more quickly at any given range, and it increases the fire rate with that bullet velocity. So again, enemies drop even quicker when you have this on. I then went ahead and threw on the Bruin Venom Long Barrel. Main reason I threw the sign was for that bullet velocity and range, so I can kill in one less bullet at longer ranges, which is an absolute game changer. But on top of that, you do get better recoil control and gu gun kick control, which we definitely are going to need. It does have a little bit of kick to it, but with the right attachments, it, it, it's non-existent. For my fourth attachment here, we have the Kimura Ryan Vertical Grip once again. You've seen me use this on other builds of mine, and it is just so damn good because you get plus two gun kick control and vertical recoil control. So I'm telling you, any type of bounce the Bass B has, it's completely gone because of this under barrel plus our barrel and then my final attachment is the slate reflector the iron sights aren't terrible it's just another one of those things where i just prefer an optic on and then once again head to the firing range this thing is just <laughs> it's honestly laughable at how good this is it does have a little bit more kick than an mcw but you put this up against that mcw and i'm telling you man it's gonna struggle a little bit that's something not many people know about as of right now but it's slowly going up in popularity and i plan on making a video on this but our first attachment we're going to want to throw on here is the conversion kit the jack heretic carbine kit and the reason you throw this on is because it increases the fire rate so it fires just as quick as an smg which is great and we get the mobility and handling of an smg because that goes up quite a bit but on top of that we get better recoil control and gun kick control and that's something this weapon does struggle with just a little bit so this kind of just changes everything about the weapon i then throw on a 40 round magazine like i said you do increase the fire rate when you throw that conversion kit on so you're gonna be burning through ammo we're loading quite a bit to make things a little easier on you you throw on the 40 round magazine you should be good for my third attachment i went ahead and i threw on the heavy bruin underbarrel for better recoil control and that's going to be right here and we get an increase on our gun kick control horizontal recoil control it's just going to make the weapon more accurate and easier to control i then threw on the mtz precision blackthorn barrel so i get an increase in bullet velocity and range so this thing kills a little bit more quickly at those longer range gunfights and then my final attachment is an optic because the iron sights are kind of atrocious that being the slate reflector once again can you guys tell i love this optic you probably can now if we bring this thing to the firing range again the mobility on this it's honestly fantastic it's great and gunfire right here high fire rate kills quickly it has very very good range like i said it is a hybrid a lot of people are calling this the amex of the game so i'm gonna have some gameplay on the channel very soon so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on so you don't miss out on that video and to wrap things up my vest field upgrade gloves boots gear it all stays the same no matter what five of these weapons you guys plan on using go out play a handful of matches with these builds i just gave you and let me know in the comments what you guys were able to do the greatest thing you're able to do with them and i'll see you on the next upload you guys all stay safe have a great day and i'm out peace